Hi guys, this HPX 12891 Dune Sounder was sent to me by rcmormon.com. As you can see, it's handling really well with its oil filled jocks. But it's just not fast enough for my liking. So, what could we do to fix this issue? Maybe a brushless conversion? Of course, let's get started. First we have to find a suitable 3 pin servo to replace the original 5 pin servo. This one from Banggood appears to be perfect. You can find the link in the description. As you can see its size is more or less identical. In order to mount the original servo saver to this servo an M2.5 by 10 mm screw and a washer are required. Before the servo saver is attached, the new servo is centered using a servo tester. It even works, but it's slow because of the low battery voltage. The next thing to do is to remove the original 390 sized brushed motor. The motor mount has bores for 12, 13 and 16 tooth pinions. The bore distance measured from center to center is 16 mm. The used Loctite is very strong, so we have to heat the pinion with a hot air gun. After the heat treatment, the pinion can be removed using a screwdriver as a lever. This 2440 size 4600 kW brushless motor will be used. Its flange and its axle diameter are fully compatible with the original 390 sized brushed motor. The link to this Racer Star motor is in the description. The two original heat insulating spaces will also be reused. They will go back in place like this. Of course the motor and pinion screws are secured with Loctite. After the motor is screwed back in place we are ready to test the gear mesh. Next step removing the old ESC. This is a little comparison of the old and new motors and ESCs. The new Racer Star 35 amp ESC is attached using a sticky pad. One of my micro RC receivers is now plugged in and we are ready for the first test using a LiPo battery. Looks good I think. The new ESC uses a T-plug as battery connector. So in this step a DIN socket is soldered to the wiring which comes from the 18650 battery compartment. Both the wires and the socket are pre-tinned. For a clean solder joint we only have to reheat the applied solder. Finally the solder joints are insulated using two pieces of shrink tube. Now let's do a test with the original 18650 batteries. Ok, the receiver will be attached in part 2 of this video. And hopefully the 18650 cells will be able to supply enough current to the new Racer Star ESC. Nice, I can already tell that it is much faster than before. Time to attach the body. Yes, it is much faster than before. And now it has the power it deserves. Looks really good so far. But are the temperatures ok? The ESC is only mildly warm. The motor is a bit on the hot side, but ok. The batteries are only slightly warm. Okay. 
In part 2 of this video, we will attach the receiver using a 3D printed mount. And of course, we will clean up the messy wiring. So stay tuned for the next part of this video. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye! Bye.